Uh, Connor Ben fought last night here in Las Vegas. Just wanted your thoughts on Connor Ben and and also know uh, kind of if you could clear up uh, what the situation is now for him to fight over there in England. Uh, I was surprised to even see him get on the card here in Vegas, but I know they came over here because they couldn't do it over there. Yeah, he's, he's still unlicensed here in the UK because the, the Boxing Board of Control and UK Anti-Doping have appealed uh, his uh, the, the lifting of his ban, which was based on jurisdiction, not strict liability, because um, there's been a very long and protracted uh, legal case around this. Yeah. Um, the Boxing Board of Control don't want it to be based on, on jurisdiction, i.e. who's done the testing. They want it to be strictly on... Uh, liability two tests positive for clomiphene of course um a year and a half ago now um conor ben like you say has uh, his promoter eddie hearn has circumvented that scenario we're expecting that appeal hearing by the boxing board of control to play out in the next month um obviously eddie hearn's taken him to vegas or america for two fights in the meantime um rightly or wrongly uh he's getting on with his career um i think he's suffered enormously listen He's had, he's been very aggressive about it all. He still protests his innocence, by the way, which I must clarify. Listen, I, I went to interview him for for radio at a live event. He slapped a microphone out of my hand a year ago. He's since apologised for that to me the other day, and also for the way he's comported himself in being very aggressive. He's been through a very, very difficult time. He may be proven in the long term that this was. Um, from consumption of eggs or whatever it is, um, but he hasn't done the strict liability. If the case uh, is lost by the Boxing Board of Control and UCAD, I expect a, retra- a restraint of trade letter to go from his promoters to the Boxing Board of Control, and they may have to license him here. I thought his last two performances looked so-so, but I think he's just trying too hard. He was very powerful for four rounds against Peter Dobson on on Saturday night in Las Vegas. But Dobson's a tough cookie, weathered the whole storm. Um, and for me, he's got a lot of work to. He's not a big welterweight. Um, and he's still two levels below fighting at world class, let mm. alone elite class. Yeah. So the, the jury's still out on him, Sean. You would have fancied him three, four years ago, taking him to school. I know what you're like. Aggressive pressure yes. fighter, yes. a brilliant yes. exponent. Yes. I loved your career. Thank Always you. got time for you, brother. Love you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you, Gareth. Hey, I yeah. appreciate you joining the podcast, and we, we we look forward to having you back. 